Well, we're here at Royal Ramwick this morning to have a look at the Champion Mare Winx trial for the second time this preparation. She had a trial two weeks ago and she wasn't asked to do a great deal, so I'd be very interested to see what she does this morning. She's our Champion Mare, she's our undisputed Queen of the Turf, and everyone's excited to catch up on her progress. The two people we'll be talking to later are Hugh Bowman and Chris Waller, and they'll be filling us in on all the details and how they think she's going. Approaching the home turn now, they've got 500 to go. And Stampede held together. He leads from Imposing Lass. Winks is pretty prominent. She's back on the inside behind the leader. Then Pariah and Daisy Doom. Antonio Giuseppe behind those past the 300 metres. And Stampede shaken up now from Imposing Lass. Winks getting through on the inside. She's never won a barrier trial, the Great Mare, but she won't be far away this morning. Pariah on the outside and Happy Clapper getting home. 50 out. Winks has gone through. She's taken it up and hits the lead the great mare and the queen of the turf she's a maiden at the trials no longer and that's an ominous warning for opposition first up Winx has won the trial um, I was happy with with um, yeah her winning the trial I guess it's 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 unusual for her uh, both Hugh and I just thought she she's probably doing a little bit too well at this stage of her preparation and just needed to have a little bit of a stronger hit out than normal she's just a little bit heavier than she normally is so with today's trial, I think she's right on track now for her first up run, which will be 1,400 metres, the Warwick Stakes, in, in 12 or 10 or 12 days. Um, Condition-wise, it should just, just tighten her up a little bit more. In comparison to previous preparations in the spring, is she at the same level of fitness this stage? Uh, I'd say she's still a little bit bigger than she normally is, so fitness-wise, it's hard to quantify. Uh, I'd say after this morning's trial, she's she's where she normally she normally would be returning. Yeah, felt good. She was a bit closer than usual, um, but she was good in her action. Obviously, I asked her to do a bit more than I usually do, but I usually sort of do that on the track at home leading up to a trials, and uh, this time we've just been a uh, lot, lot quieter with her uh, leading into the trials, so probably her biggest hit out so far this prep and that should um, prepare her nicely for her first up run. Chris thought that she was probably a little bit bigger in condition compared to last preparation, would you say that's right? Hard for me to judge, you know, I don't sort of get too carried away with, you know, only look at her by the eye, they obviously are with her 24-7, so for me it's just about as long as she feels right and she's moving well and she's never as enthusiastic in her trials as she's race day, so... The fact she didn't, you know, hit the hit the line like she does at the races doesn't concern me one iota. Um, you know, the fact that she's won her first trial is really meaningless too. It's just a just really a preparation uh, stage, you know, leading up to a first up run.